Hi, welcome to another video about Audi A2. In this video I will show you how to activate the option that if you take the ignition on and open the doors, you can still um, open or close the windows. How does this work? So, for example, now it is not activated. This is factory from the from factory. So, if I take the key out and try to open the windows, they work because the doors remained uh, closed. Also, the, uh, the passenger door works. But as soon as I open the doors, now the window you cannot uh, the windows uh, are deactivated and they cannot be uh, opened or closed. So, how can we do this? We need to turn the ignition on and of course for this you need a diagnostic tool. I will be using, I will be using uh, VCDS because it is easy to uh, use and it's also simple to use uh, and it works. So, we need to go to collect, to select and then go to the module 46, Central Convenience. Um, Pro, uh, probably also other tools, uh, diagnostic tools, uh, some other tools should work, but I will show you how to do this in VCDS. So let me uh, wait so that it connects and then we go to coding. And here we have a number. This number is the sum of all other numbers, of all numbers here. And of course, this number is different for each car because it depends what equipment the car has. Anyway, we are interested here in the door window regulator logic north america and as you can see if if i add this number 2048 to the number uh, that it is from factory this means that this uh, logic for the door and windows door for windows will change so i will be able to open or close the windows even after i will um, open the doors let us verify this so this is my number i need to add 2048 and the number that I get is 8778. So I will do this 8778. Why I don't delete this zero? Because if I delete it, it will not accept the coding. So I will do. Uh, click now, do it. Okay. Let's wait. And let's verify that it was accepted. It was accept accepted. And let's now verify what will happen. Okay. So. I will take out now the key and the windows still work, both windows. And now let me open the doors. And as you can see, I can still open the windows. Okay, also the passenger window. So this is still active. Now, uh, what does this mean? Does this mean that it will uh, drain the battery? Well, not really, because uh, since I had some time, I also checked uh, a few things, so I tested, and I've written here so that I will not tell, uh, uh, that I will tell the correct info. So, before the function was, this function was activated, if you left the doors op uh, closed, you were able to open and close the windows for 10 minutes from taking the key out of the ignition. So this means that after 10 minutes, the module went to sleep mode and the windows were not able to open or close anymore. As soon as I opened the doors, the, this function was, uh, was uh, this was not, uh, the windows were not uh, be, uh, possible to open or close, okay? So after I have activated this function, then this works like this. It is the same. If the doors are open or closed 10 minutes, you are able to open or close the windows. After 10 minutes, the module goes to sleep and you cannot open or close windows. It, it, independent of this, either the doors, the doors were closed or open. But as soon as you close the doors, you open the doors and close the doors, the function deactivated. So you are not able to, act, to open or close the doors. So, uh, let us verify this. So, the function is activated. I have take, taken out the key. I can open, close the, open or close the window. I will open the doors. I can still open and close the window. But now I have closed the doors and the function is deactivated. So, as, as soon as you open and close the doors, if you open, it, it still works. But if you close, the function does not work anymore.
This function is very uh, useful if you, uh, for example, open the doors and you would like to leave the uh, windows a little bit open so that the, there would be a fresh air inside. Be, uh, but if it is open, you do not need to um, uh, close or open the... It, you can, of course, easily, but there is also additional option. And this is, I think, factory and all Audi tools. You just uh, take your remote when you are out press the lock button, hold it, and the windows close. Uh, close. There are two additional consequences of this coding, and the first one is this. If you lock the car, the car is locked, you can still open the doors uh, uh, from uh, inside. So, if I now pull the handle once, it didn't open, but it unlocked the, the doors. Now, if I open them, uh, the doors are able to be opened. So this is the first uh, consequence. The same goes also for other doors. So first pull is only unlocking and the second one is opening the doors. So this is the first consequence. And the second consequence, which is not really so good, is that you do not get any more the um, um, blink config confirmation from uh, blinkers when you are unlocking the car. So if I, if I lock the cars, the car, the blink confirmation is uh, present, but if I unlock the car, the blink confirmation is not present. So uh, the car does not confirm with blink with double blinking that the um, uh, doors are unlocked. So this is the this, these are the two uh, options. So this is now on the changed configuration on North American setting, and let me now just go to back to the factory setting, and uh, we will uh, I will confirm that this uh, this is really uh, as I said. I have recorded, recorded now back to the factory setting and if I try to lock the car you have a blink confirmation for unlocking also double blink confirmation so again once the same as not in a North American setting but also when unlocking the car there is a double blink confirmation and this is it and as I said if I now lock the car um, if I try to open the doors I can pull, but they do not open. So this is factory settings, uh, setting for uh, Audi A2. And I think that this is not really a uh, good, uh, good setting because if you leave somebody inside, they cannot go out uh, um, if there is something wrong or something. But definitely it is good for this that the, if somebody is robbing the car, it's harder to uh, get, uh, to get uh, uh, in because they cannot open the doors. I hope that this video helped, thank you for watching, drive safe and of course smile when you drive because driving is always fun, especially if you drive Audi A2. Bye!